Hey, my name is Radu. Let me show you how to build a form in Word. So, this is what you're getting. This is how a form should look like. I can write my name here, like a plain text. I can choose from, uh, let's say, from a calendar, a date. I can choose from a list, maybe. And I can also check or uncheck a few things. So this is how I think uh, forms in Word should look like. If you want to see how I did this, just keep watching. Okay, we're starting from scratch. This is a simple Word document with some text, a table and a smiley face. So this is the column where I want to put the fields, like the placeholders for the form contents. For this, I will need the developer tab. If you don't see it here, uh, as you can see it in, in my case, you will need to enable it. To enable it, it's pretty simple. Just right click somewhere in the interface. For example, I'm going to go into view and right click here because I want to uh, find customize the ribbon. And if you find this, you will be able to find also the developer tab and you will be able to check this. So you don't only need to check this and it will be visible. If you're using Office 2007, I think you'll find the option here somewhere in the general, something like show the developer tab. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that you have uh, this tab. It's pretty straight, it's pretty simple. I want um, to be able to input a text here. So in your name, I'm gonna, I want to be able to write text. I'm gonna go to, into developer tab and I see that I have controls here. For example, I have uh, rich text and plain text and I'm, yes, I'm choosing plain text and that's kind of it <laughs> I don't have to do anything else uh, for the for the date I'm gonna choose the date control that I can find here a date picker and this is pretty different because here I can write anything here I can choose from let's say from the days in the calendar I can also choose today okay and it's pretty simple for the reason, I want to create a list. I have a list of possible reasons or why someone will be uh, willing to subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to create uh, the list here. I have the drop down and also the combo box. I don't see a lot of differences between the two, so I'm going to choose uh, uh, the, the drop down. But my problem now is that I cannot have, I cannot see the list of reasons that I want. So I'm going to go into the properties because I want to change it. I want to change the possible reasons why someone would subscribe. So go to the properties and then you can see here that I can change the, let's see the options that I see. So the first one is like, like don't know. Okay, and the second one is like uh, push the wrong wrong button we can go on and on with this but i'm not wasting my time and your time with that so we have two reasons like don't know push the wrong button and we also want to have a checkbox uh, to check gdpr blah blah okay you can see it here and that's it so this is like our form in a, let's say almost finished uh, manner i can uh, enter text i can select a date also choose from a list and check something out but my problem my problem now is that someone can also write and let's say can override this like instead of writing here he can write here okay and this is something that i want to prevent so this is why i'm choosing also to restrict editing Okay, I have this button here also in the developer tab and I'm going to use uh, the options here to allow only the filling in of forms. Okay, I have multiple options here, but I want to allow someone only to fill in form and that's it. So nothing else. Okay, after I do this, I'm going to scroll a little bit or no, not, not needed. Just click yes, in start enforcing protection. It will ask for a password, let's say very complicated password. And that's it. For example, now I'm trying to change something <laughs> to, to delete the, the title. I cannot do this. I can also only write here, like Radu. This is the date I'm subscribing, the reason, and also GPR, blah, blah. Okay, forms in Word. This is how you should go around creating them. 
The good news is that if you want to subscribe to my channel, you don't have to fill in this form, you just have to click on a subscribe button somewhere in YouTube. That's kind of it. See you in the next one.